are you ready to unravel the mystery of what really happened to Doc Willie's unbat friends? From hilarious pranks to explosive arguments, this hit podcast had it all, and if you're a fan of the podcast like me, you're probably already wondering, what led to Doc's sudden disappearance? Fans were left scratching their heads. Was it a behind-the-scenes feud, a publicity stunt, or something else entirely? Get ready to dive deep into the drama and find out the truth about one of the most talked-about podcast mysteries of all time. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to talk about what happened to Doc on Bad Friends. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of the latest updates on our channel. Mate Doc Willis, a comedian who hails from Detroit, MI, and now resides in sunny California, chasing his dreams of becoming a top-notch stand-up comedian and actor. Doc's comedy is rooted in his colorful past, where he amuses audiences with hilarious anecdotes from his time in a gang, selling drugs and more. Catch him on the big screen in Jeff Garland's Handsome, a Netflix mystery movie or on YouTube's Daddy Knows Best, alongside Streve Ranad Zidzi. He's also lent his voice to Adult Swim's The Jellies with Tyler the Creator. And if that wasn't enough, Doc's been a guest on some of the most popular podcasts around, like Ari Schaffer's Skeptic Tag, The Church of What's Happening Now with Joey Coco Diaz, Bad Friends with Bobby Lee and Andrew Santino, and he even hosts his own podcast, La Vida with Doc Willies. Rumor has it that something went down and he was given the boot from the podcast, Bad Friends. Can you imagine what could have happened? Maybe he said something you shouldn't have or rubbed someone the wrong way. Whatever the reason, it's got everyone talking and wondering what really went down behind the scenes. We have some theories as to what might have happened that we will be discussing today. So buckle up and grab your popcorn. One theory that we came up with after surfing Reddit and the internet is that of Doc's drinking habit. No, no, you did. You've been doing it. You've been doing it. Been doing what? Drinking during, drink, the, drink, day. during the day. Yeah, that's the only time I can drink. I can't drink at night. Whiskey. No, Peanut no, no, we got wine. Oh, wine. Nope, you... nope. No drinking while I'm sick. Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, Bullshit. Oh, 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 you're drunk now. <laughs> Are you drunk now? No. What's in there? Well, you know, a little bit of juice, but it ain't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Can I tell you bit. something? When yeah, you yeah. I might actually agree with this one right here. It's pretty clear that excessive drinking was a major factor in the whole situation. What started as a fun and humorous experience quickly turned into a serious issue once he started getting too drunk and defensive during the podcast. Well, he does. He's just a scientist. You think Lex is smarter than you? No. Yeah. Yeah, he just I do science. Don't... That's all he do. This shit is crazy to me <laughs> when people put scientists on this level that they shit. Okay, what has <laughs> Lex Friedman, Friedman created? I don't, I'm I don't not know. Exactly. <laughs> He's a fucking science teacher just like anybody else. You can do that shit. No. Most scientists. What are you so angry for, dude? <laughs> because, Come on, relax. Man, I from what I saw, it seems like his drinking is far from just a casual habit, especially since he even missed an entire episode because he had passed out. It's one thing to have a few drinks around Bobby, who doesn't seem to mind, but Doc's behavior was just out of control. He was showing up to the podcast practically wasted every time, even though his friends had already told him that he had a problem and needed to cut back. I mean, seriously, you would think that either he or someone like Bobby would have said something about it before it got this bad. I find it interesting that even though Doc was constantly called out for his drinking, I never once heard anyone else on the podcast mention their own drinking habits. It just goes to show how much of an issue it really was. Hopefully, Doc can get the help he needs and come back to the podcast as the funny, engaging person we all know and love. The second theory that we came up with is of the recent drama that took place on the podcast, and it was wild. It all started when Bobby decided to wrestle Doc during the live podcast, and he did it almost weirdly. Well, that didn't go well with Doc, and he got mad, really mad. I mean, who wouldn't be, right? But that's not all. Bobby and the team had been cracking some jokes and making fun of Doc's conspiracy theories for quite some time and he had really finally had enough. But it didn't stop there. During another episode, Doc compared Bobby to Hawking, and there was this awkward no, vibe. Do you think you're as intelligent as Stephen Hawking? Yes. This <laughs> <laughs> is insane. It's insane. Never wanted to be a scientist. Oh my am God, I, am guy, I right I, or wrong about wait. it? Wait. Hold on. This guy. This, this, guy. <laughs> this is good. Sit. This is really I'm, good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, let me just explain something. No, to you. I never want to Let me explain time. something to you. Okay. Right. IQ is the basis. Of, Stephen Hawking's IQ is higher than yours and mine and his. Probably combined, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but what I'm saying. So, yes, he's smarter than us. That's only. There has to be a scale. 
But you could tell that something was off and Doc seemed genuinely upset. There's another theory going around that Doc had an argument with the team, and that's why he's not mentioned in recent episodes. They never addressed it directly, but during one episode, Rudy asked about Doc and Bobo said, you will probably never see him again, which was a bit weird, don't Number you think? Number two, who do you like more, Doc or Juicy? I haven't seen Doc in a while. You'll never I see missed, him again. I miss Doc. You may never see I him I miss again. him a lot. I like both. I'll do it. I love that guy. Yeah. I love Sam, dude. He's, yeah, he's a permanent fixture of this fucking show. I think so. I think we found a replacement. For who? You know who. For me? No. I know. I know. For the other one. Yeah, the other one. Not you. Not Why you. are you looking at me? It seems like they ended on bad terms, and Doc himself stated on his Instagram that he will never go back on bad friends. Now, I think the problem here is that Doc takes his thoughts and opinions too seriously, and he gets hurt when Bobby or anyone else turns what he's saying into a joke. I've noticed that he looks uncomfortable multiple times, because he's trying to be serious. But Doc, you're on a comedy podcast. If you ask me, I think Doc could have done his own podcast to talk about what he wants and still slide through on BF every now and then. But I think he's too sensitive to jokes aimed at him or his thinking. He seems a bit thin-skinned and you can't just be in that environment. No one takes themselves so seriously that they can't laugh at themselves or the others messing with them. But you could tell that Doc couldn't handle it sometimes. Another theory that we have generated might be Doc's family issues. Why, you ask? Well, it seems that Doc couldn't keep his personal stuff to himself when he got it's on the pod. cultural. We're not making fun of your culture, dude. <laughs> We're around right? the same age. We're kids. Wait, wait. He's the same age? Your uncle's the same age <laughs> He's as two, three years older than me. <laughs> My uncle... Turtles. And let me tell you, this happened quite often. Especially when he had a few too many drinks. So, Doc had to take a breather and step away from it all for a while. Thankfully, his pal Andrew assured him that he was always welcome to come back whenever he felt ready. To make matters worse... Doc had become the subject of all the jokes on the latest episodes of the pod. Poor guy couldn't catch a break. But then, someone mentioned that Santino had once said during a Q&A session at the end of one of their Bad Friends episodes that if you don't like the way things are going, then start your own podcast. And that's precisely what Doc did. He decided to take matters into his own hands and create a podcast of his own. You won't believe what happened to Doc. He's been killing it lately, gaining tons of new fans who just can't get enough of him. And let me tell you, these fans are not shy about showing him some serious love in the comment section. They just can't get enough of his stuff. But with all of this newfound success, it seems like Doc's head might have gotten a bit too big for his bridges. He started to feel like he's a big-time player now. And maybe he's not getting the recognition or the pay that he deserves. So what does he do? He decides to start his own podcast, of course. But here's the thing. Doc's always been a bit of a loose cannon. Like he's got this tendency to get a little carried away when he's feeling the love. Case in point, when he opened for Andrew this one time, he was only supposed to do 10 minutes. But he was feeling so good up there on stage that he ended up doing it a full 25. Sold out. And um, we go, go to, to 10 minutes, right? Bobby said, 10 to 10 12 10 is to 12. fine. It's fine. And, and Bobby even goes, if he does 15 because he's having fun, fine. Fine, right? Now... We, him and I, we're 25 minutes in. Yep. Right? Yep. And I'm you, Now I'm a human life. Right? I'm, I'm doing... He was. I'm, get out! Get out! And let me tell you, the boys were not happy about it. They were practically frothing at the mouth, trying to get him off the stage. And the craziest part, when Doc finally did come down from his high, he straight up admitted that he's got these tendencies to overrate himself. I mean, can you believe it? I guess it just goes to show that even the most talented folks can let success go to their heads sometimes. Top of form. I have a soft spot for Doc and his comedy chops. His episodes always leave me in stitches, but let's be real. The dude ain't exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. I mean, he's pushing 50 and still grinding away at a day job while trying to make it as a comedian. It's a tough gig, and it takes a lot of smarts to make it in this business. Here's the thing, though, I'm super bummed that Doc doesn't seem to realize just how much Bad Friends has helped him out. And now, he's got all these new fans and tons of exposure. But when he started his own podcast, he dissed Bad Friends and their fans right off the bat. Hey, hey, hey man, Doc, where you been? What's, what's going on? Why you, ain't, why you ain't on Bad Friends? Hey, man, I'm trying to do my own thing. I'm just, this shit is like, to try to, like, elevate yourself and monetize yourself in this game. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, Time can only dictate that. 
and you just be waiting on your time. And in the meantime, you're doing this and doing that, and you see people rising and going and doing their thing, and they got their own thing. And I notice, like with me, it's always me having to be under the cur- or under the coattail of somebody. It's like I, I said, man, man, how do I how do I change this? I need to branch off on my own. So I'm one of them dudes that I just take risk. And I know y'all probably like, no, man, this ain't it. You need to get back on Bad Friends. Well, fuck you, because I'm doing this. <laughs> it was such a sad thing to see. I really wish Doc would have at least made one more appearance on Bad Friends to promote his new show. But it seems like he's too busy patting himself on the back for winning or whatever. Personally, I think his podcast is pretty boring. And the numbers aren't exactly blowing up. But hey, maybe he'll surprise me. Stranger things have happened in the world of comedy. And that's a wrap, folks. As we sign off, we want to hear from you. What did you think of today's video? Share the video with your friends, colleagues, and family members. And if we have missed out on something, leave a comment below for any queries. And let's keep the conversation going. We'll be ending today's video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.